Hello again everyone. Uh, today we find ourselves once again back in the world of Aram and looking at two very very similar comps. To I mean you have pretty much you have three AD carries on our side and then two AD carries in Teemo on their side. So it's it's a lot of similarity between the two in terms of what they bring to the table. You also have one tank, uh, ours is Alistair, theirs is I, and then one caster, ours is Fiddlesticks, theirs is Castle. So there's a lot there that's going to be interesting. The double AD carry comp works out very well a lot of time, but when you have more than two, it doesn't work out quite as well. Majority of the time. Just because you're missing so much other part, uh, so many other parts that you're going to need, uh, whether it's tank, poke, or just early game, uh, early game stuff is going to allow you to. It's going to allow you to get to that point where you. Not a tunnel for it. Tell too much on getting that uh, three silver bolt clock. Our MF is still at the base too, so that's a little fun map. One thing that's going to benefit them too is the fact that they have a chemo, which can nullify at least one of the carries. The run. It's not going to nullify all well, three of them if it ever shows up, but it's going to do a decent amount. Didn't have weight on our. No, she just got the brutalizer. Which you could have gotten on the first back, so you just got four extra potions for it. Heads up, 5v5, although MF is behind in experience. However, the, b the bonus is we're actually level 4 already. Uh, the day just hit level 4. We did get one kill early, so that's part of the experience of uh, decrepancy as well. Now we're at least getting fun. Little folks really helping us too, because we have three A carries, but they're uh, all three of them are shorter range than Jason and Caitlyn, who can be very much lame boys. And I'm going to be going for an attack speed build. Since we're already going to have, so now I'm going to have MF and Silver. We both. Started with the brutal eye, we're interested.
Downside is MF is the only one that are ult, and if she had that, that would be very, very useful in this kind of situation. Check the summoner heals actually. So we have all five summoner heals and they have four and a barrier on them. The dark should feel that really the last four. Ooh, very nice. I wasn't sure if that was that relic was gonna be enough, but thankfully it was. Here we go. The chain TC with the Alistair and the Fiddle Six is really nice too. That's gonna be very, very helpful. I really don't need these mana potions. I should have Bye. And there we go. Really need that Blade of the Run King, but this will do for now. There's a castle. That's unfortunate. There's a turret right back. And okay, there's a monster. M has her ult back up now. That's good. You can't mill those. Somebody grab an uh, Tiger Ascension? Nope. Okay. I hear the Human Shrine really hasn't been an issue yet. There's the cleanup potential. Shut down. Enemy double kill. Aced. Evil lurks around every corner. I get a lot of folks right now. I mean, that's to be expected on me, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna draw a lot of focus. Yeah. 
There's a stream right there too. Ooh, nice stream. Right Resets, there's two mushrooms. I don't think Amos gonna get out of this one. Nope, especially not if we hit like that. Alright, I don't have enough for static shift, but I probably should get going on by Not sure if we can end it on here. Uh, we don't have minions, and they have two up right now. One of them being Kassen, and I believe the other one being Jinx. Yeah. Oh boy. The Alistair's gone, and that's most of our uh, defensive capabilities right now. Silver Stars are all. Fiddlesticks has his ult, but he's got no life. Fairly edge, interesting. Okay, that was the speed up I heard. Server went play, uh, Black Cleaver and Yumu's. So that's full armor penetration, which I mean, can make sense. I mean, we are running a triple agent pump, so. Kind of stand off the track. Uh, Timo's probably showing up back there. <laughs> Wish I had the light bringer. Yeah. That's gonna be a lot of shrooms to try and get through. Where it gets tricky, because one wrong move to make the game for them, and that turn for us. If we play this right, it's, this is going to be game pretty soon here. Just don't want to play it quite wrong. Oh, that was perfect. We're all low enough and just uh, cast it in to get the perfect one off. And I also was staying in the middle of turret aggro there for some reason. So we get the inhibitor. If we didn't already have the inhibitor. But I think we I think we already did. Yeah, I'm pretty sure we already had the inhibitor, so. We got like the half damage onto that top end and that uh, that's turn. Hibber's gonna be spine, but at least I got my blade of the road here. 
probably want to go for that close mount or light bringer pretty soon here. Um, probably gonna want to go for the close mount actually. Just give me more life so I can be a little bit more durable. In the dark, all is not fair. You have slain an enemy. She came too far. There's the vein pass at work for you. The dark should be me. Really could use a light bringer or something of the sort right now, or holes or trap detection at least. The team mushrooms don't really hurt, but they're they are annoying. The one thing we do have to worry about for right now is is just the uh, Cassidy. That's that's the only real worry we have. Should be the game. Team was still up, but not much you can do in this situation. Probably didn't need a flash for that, but hey, it looks cool, kind of. There we go. Triple eighty carry comp for the win. Victory!